I do a quick rundown on my equipment and what I take rock chuck hunting. I've never really done that before, so I figured it'd just make it easier just to see it. Um, the rifle is a Tika CTR 223. It's got a 24 inch barrel. It's threaded from the factory, 5 8 by 24. I'm big into Tikas and when I saw that this was available in January or so, I jumped on it. I got it through Euro Optic. It's got a Harris bipod, six to nine. It's a swivel bipod. It works pretty good for what I what I use it for. Um, the suppressor is a Silencer Coast Saker 762, and it's got the direct thread module on it. The rangefinder I use is a Leupold RX 2800 TBRW. I had a Zeiss PRW or Zeiss something, and um, it wasn't very accurate, and it had difficulty. And I don't think it was able to do angles, so that really um, kind of killed it for me. So I, I really like the loop hold. It's one-handed, and it's really accurate. Um, I use the Zeiss Conquest HD 10x42s. <clears throat> 10x42s. I've always had Butler Creek scope caps on there. I think it works a lot better than the ones you get from Zeiss. Uh, the only issues I've had is the eye cups breaking. So I ended up putting just a little bit of thread and some epoxy uh, to keep the, the little plastic piece from breaking. And I've had issues since then, but I've had those for about 10 years. Um, the ammo I use is one of the uh, 55 grade Minimax in the Barman Express. I'm really happy with it. I've got a ton of it on hand. Uh, the rear bag I use is a Armageddon gear, pint size. It's just a normal canvas and it's got the light fill. Um, I also own the heavy fill, sticky, pint size game changer. Uh, I like this one for hunting. It's just a little bit lighter, less to, less to carry. Uh, the scope is a Viper PST2 5 to 25 by 50. It's made by Vortex. Uh, it's in mill and first focal plane. Um, I always have throw levers on my scopes, and I like the normally Seekins makes the Vortex PMR rings. Uh, this set is actually Seekins. Um, I always usually use the uh, Defender scope caps. I like them a lot. The only issue I have is the rubber boot. Sometimes when I'm opening it, it'll it'll pull the boot off. So you got to make sure you clean it real well with. Uh, alcohol swab or something and uh, and it, it stays on pretty good um, this is how I film the hunts uh, just a spotting scope on a tripod with a ball head um, it's a razor or vortex razor gen 2 27 to 60 by 85 and I just made a little phone scope a little do-it-yourself phone scope with epoxy and a um, Butler Creek scope cap it's a lot cheaper it's like 12 13 bucks to make it and that works pretty well um, it's a lot cheaper than the, than the regular phone scope the tripod is a NRL and it'll hold up to 88 pounds I got it mainly to, to shoot my rifle off of it but um, it's super stable for the spotting scope and for filming the ball head is a Leo photo NB46, so it's got a 46 millimeter ball, and it works really well. I got it for about 100 bucks on on eBay. I forgot to mention the stock. It's a Manners EH1 TK with the mini chassis in it, and so basically you just drop it in and bolt it up, and it's ready to go. There's no bedding or anything. Uh, I really like it. It's got the carbon fiber, and this one's in the Tommy Bahama. Nice vertical grip and it's super comfortable to shoot it's lightweight i think it looks a lot better than the, than the factory tika stock i do have a area 419 arca rail on there that's for putting it on the tripod uh, that i that showed you earlier so i think that does it for my equipment for the most part let's go shoot some rock checks
So I just saw a rock chuck go into this crack from down here. He goes into this crack, and he's going to go all the way up, and he's going to pop up right here. So he just popped up. He's right, right there. So he's gonna pop up somewhere in here. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. Two hundred and twenty-three yards. So after all the work trying to get this one on camera, uh, he ends up moving out just out of the frame uh, right before I take the shot and hit him. 230. Just a hair short on both of them at about 260. It's about 313. New spot. So the next two or three clips, the wind is pushing um, through this little valley right to left. And you'll see those first, these first two misses are pushing left. And the next two hits are also pushing left. I didn't think it was gonna affect it that much, but it clearly did. clips are with the rifle in the big tripod and the camera on a smaller cheaper tripod. Um, the footage was ended up being pretty shaky so I switched it back after a little bit.
So this one I thought I actually missed until I played it back. I didn't hear the thump. I didn't hear the bullet hit a rock or see the chuck at all. Uh, so I thought I just missed. Okay, that was interesting. I was, <laughs> they had already seen me, so I was trying not to move and sitting on my butt, turning to the left. <laughs> they just kept coming out. Uh, we got, this one's a normal one. At about 150. As you can see here, there are five rock chucks in this one little shot, and between trying to film and get on the rifle, I was unable to get any of them. sounded a little different. I actually nicked a rock right in front of my muzzle. I, I thought I was clear and I didn't quite clear the uh, edge there. 